That's farmer friend singer-songwriter Lyle Strickland. And that's farmer friend and jack-of-all-trades Chris Horn. And we're Those Those Taste Bud Guys. Worthy of a Glen Karn. I'm pretty sure it's not going to be worthy of a Glen Karn. Pre judging. All right, we'll see. We'll see. Oh, I'm not even on the camera. <clears throat> my tape. I have a piece of tape right here. That's where I'm supposed to keep my elbow so that I stay in frame because I know at this point I go out of frame. I didn't do very good. Okay, look at me. Yo, <laughs> I don't care. It just doesn't matter. You know what? My hair will get fixed in post. That's how this works. Oh. Yeah. So, I'm getting made fun of because I was wearing a hat while ago for the last shoot, and I put took my hat off, and I put water in it, and we fluffed it all up, and now it's falling, and I look like a pineapple. Whatever. I don't care. I don't know, Anyhow, what, I don't know what I'm saying it for. Hey, guys! Welcome to the show! Jesus, good God almighty, this fucking show. <laughs> you know, this is the perfect start to a vodka episode. Yeah, I, like that and I can't get it open. If anything <clears throat> screams vodka, it's it's just an absolute <sighs> shit show. Oh my God, why, why, why? Okay, so we got this bottle of vodka, chocolate vodka, I might add, that are... You know, I'm starting to want to less and less call him a friend. I know. It's... It's... it's okay. Our Patrick. friend, Patrick, from over at Up the Gut Podcast, which is a football podcast you guys should absolutely check out, because it's a much better podcast than he is a person, apparently. Because he gave us this chocolate stuff, and he's like, You're gonna love it! You'll like it! It's awesome! And I'm like, There's no possible way! I guess we're gonna find out. Mm-hmm. I'm not... I, I don't know, man. I'll pour my own. Yeah, I got a very small... Alright, so here's what I don't know. Is this sleek or sleck? It's the sleekest sleck I've ever had. Some bottle once told... There, no more. <laughs> Put that up there in front of the camera. <laughs> for that bottle of sleck, Shrek reference. Oh, oh, Shrek. Sl- okay, Somebody wants to... Oh, my God. <sighs> I'm, I'm getting there. I'm getting there. Hey, if anybody has another podcast that they're or a YouTube channel that they're looking for a host on, <laughs> send me the link. I'll put in an application. <laughs> um, okay, this is out of Dallas, Texas. Is it really? Yep. That's weird. doesn't taste like or smell like uh, brimstone. It actually smells kind of nice, I will say. So I've had one other chocolate liqueur, and it was uh, from Bird Dog, and it was actually really good, as much as I hate to say that, but it was a, uh, yeah, I was I was actually a big fan of it. Um, I kind of am expecting something along the same, even though the other one wasn't uh, a vodka, it was a liqueur that was supposed to be a whiskey-based. Um, I thought it was good, I mean, and it I, does smell similar, so... It smells like Yoohoo. Oh, it does, don't it? Like, like a... It's it's something that's trying to be a ch- chocolate milk, kind of, but it's not there. But it's not offensive. It's not bad. Speaking of Yoo-Hoo. Yoo-Hoo. Anyways. Gotta squeeze that in, like, every time. If we ever lose that side angle, nobody's gonna know what the heck's going on. Hmm. I don't like the way you just looked at that, like I'm supposed to like this all of a sudden. I'm not saying you're gonna like it, but... Oh, no. Hell no. What the (laughs) fuck? You poured such a big glass of it. Uh, Because I really thought it'd be more like that bird dog. Oh my god, that's like cough syrup with chocolate in it. That's terrible. Ooh, you like that? No, I'm not saying I like it. I'm saying that I have, like, a... (sighs) Alright, I'm gonna give us... Here's the thing. I could see some uses for it. In okay. cocktails. Absolutely. Have I'm sure ever, there is. Have you ever had a chocolate martini? No. I don't okay. get mine extra dirty. Well. <sighs> I drink me, me manly martinis. Me neither. I manly have, martinis. I've never had one. Extra manly martinis. Two olives. <laughs> <laughs> um, two olives and the toothpick. 
Yeah. <laughs> Extra manly martinis. Is that? That's the first time I've seen that. That's beautiful. I really think it's supposed to look more like that, but... <laughs> um, no, I could see some uses for it, but again, this just goes back to, like, what do you make, right? Man. If you're if you oh. If you're making a cocktail that needs a chocolate flavor to it, um, I'll tell you what, I'd take this over the um, creme de cacao or, or um, uh, the Patron chocolate. Look, I mean... <sighs> As far as chocolate being a flavor, I think that's fine. It does a good job of that. But that's the problem with it is the nose and the chocolate is so good. And then there's this sickly syrup like immediately on the heels of it. It, it is absolutely like NyQuil. Like a rubber taste. No, like NyQuil. I mean, that's 100% it's exactly what, what I think of as soon as I hit something. I'm like, cough syrup. I don't like it. Yeah. Um, I don't know. And Patrick, I know you said don't crap all over it until you've tried it. I, I honest to God, I was trying to actually like it. I thought I would actually like it, to be fair. I know what I would do with this. I would make a white Russian with this. That might be all right. If you can get rid That's of that really do. heavy cough syrupy flavor in the back yeah. of it, the flavoring for chocolate will be fine. What no. percentage of this? Probably 30. 30. Okay. So, oh, sorry. Womp. Is it really 30%? What's a liqueur? I mean... Aww. I assume they call it liqueur, even though it's still vodka, right? No, it's a chocolate-flavored vodka. So does vodka not follow the same... I don't know. Okay, so I was gonna Distilled say... Distilled four times, 30% alcohol. I was gonna say that um, this would make a great white Russian, but that does lessen the, uh, the ABV. You could only make a white Russian with this if you used, like, an Irish cream. To boost up the ABV instead of like half and half. So it doesn't say anything about it being a liqueur. I, maybe vodka doesn't follow the same. I don't know. I don't know how that works. I don't know anything about vodka. We yeah. did our first vodka the other day. I, I don't know. I assume that's released by now, but there's the here's, Dan Aykroyd vodka. End of, end of my day. The problem with vodkas, and especially flavored vodkas, I guess it's my problem with flavored vodkas, is that it's fine to have a flavored vodka for a specific cocktail that you're going to make. But my God, there are so many flavors under the sun mm. that it's like, why have that many bottles on your bar? Like, well, you got to have chocolate. Well, now you got to have cotton candy. Well, now you got to have pineapple. Well, now you, know, you got to have banana. Well, now you got to have raspberry and cranberry and blah, blah, blah. And on and on and on and on and on. When you could just have a nice bottle of tequila or an iceberg. <laughs> mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's fine. If you have a drink that you love um, that would benefit from a certain flavor, keep that on your shelf. But this is uh, not going to be on mine. No. I, I, I say I, if but I was going to have It a does chocolate, the job, right? It, yeah, it does. It is It is what it says it is, which is a This is like a few of the other ones we've bucket. had lately. If I had a design for it, if we was planning a party and we're like, we need this flavor involved... It'd I'd get great. the bottle for that. I don't even know what yeah. it runs, but I'd get the bottle of that. Yeah. That being said, I'd probably still get the bird dog, man. That was way better. So, um, I haven't had that one, but... Um, it's funny. We're going to do a bottle cap review of this on our Patreon page, which if you guys are not following us or you haven't uh, subbed up to be a Patreon, you should do that because we have a whole extra episode after this that we review some more and talk more about this on, plus some other things we do over there. But you just drank yours, now you're going to have to pour another glass of it. And I find that hilarious. Poured a very small glass to begin with. Um, all right. Until next time. Sorry, Patrick. <laughs> Whether it be the food you're eating. The chocolates you're screwing up. The people you're meeting. What was you wearing? Grab a buddy and try something new.